and um, we're here. So, Julius, anything to say? <laughs> yeah, we were hoping to get here in a light, but because uh, even with a double reef mainsail and a Yankee jib, we still were going six, six and a half knots. So we got here four o'clock in the morning. A cup of coffee in the morning. It's the first morning we just got a, a good night rest, which consists of a, about 13 hours sleep. <laughs> The one interruption, so you slept like seven hours each time. We arrived yesterday morning in uh, Iwa Oa Marquesis. Here we're anchoring in a harbor, getting ready to go to a town to check in with the gendarmes and get our visa. This beautiful harbor. It's been raining from yesterday, since yesterday, I would say uh, 30 times. It rains for uh, five minutes and then it's sunny for a half an hour and it rains for five minutes. So it looks like we're going to be growing some too, not only vegetation. So now Susan making some uh, fresh biscuits. <laughs> we're going to have some uh, fried potatoes with the fresh biscuits, some egg and, a, and a bacon. And afterwards we're going to the so-called town, which consists of about, uh, several buildings. Okay. We're gonna... This is a... Uh... However, we're anchored right here. This is where they have a big boat that comes in with supplies every so often. This is the entry right there. Very small entry. But as usual, when you get into a harbor, it's pretty nice. This is a big mountain. You can see it's raining up there. Everything's very green. And this is the rest of the harbor here. A lot of boats from all over the world. Here we are in Hiva Oa with Julius and Suzanne. Hey. Their vessel Emerald Steel in the background. Right there. Way in the distance, the island is a part to Hiva. And here it's entry to Hiva Oa Harbor. Here's a breakwater. Look at that mountain, Billy. It's ready to yes. up it. To the very, very top. And down here, on the side of the beach, is a town of what? Atuana. Atuana. That's where we go check with the gendarmes to get our permission for a visa. Here we are in front of Gendarmerie. It's uh, where we uh, checked into a Hivaoa, into a customs. It's got the permission to stay three months in uh, French Polynesia. Some beautiful, beautiful scenery. You can see a nice breadfruit hanging. It's a little town of Hiwaoa. Exactly. Actually surprising, has a a little grocery store, a little hardware store, bank. So really a necessity of the place. And, and uh, here, here's some nice I don't know, it's very, very nice in here. Very nice to go. Now that we're anchored, it will be a good time to go up the mast to check out the repair we did mid-ocean and see if I need to do something to improve it. Susan up on the mast, making Final repair. But we had a temporary repair in the ocean. I can be having spare parts so you can make a good repair. This is a beautiful anchorage here. Here are 
quarantine with yellow flag and a French flag. It is a fine example of a topping leaf block, trash itself to dead. It's a nice bronze. Sheaf still was holding it, but uh, as you can tell, all the ball bearings, everything's gone there. It's totally, totally destroyed. So it's still okay for our spare parts, but otherwise, it's uh, pretty much junk. But hold our boom till we got to Iwaoa, so we have a chance to fix it and replace it. Well, we're just getting ready to leave Hiva Oa. We're heading to Fatu Hiva. And uh, we anchor here bow and stern like everybody else is. There's a little bit of a swell coming in here, so we pointed our bow into the swell and it's a little more comfortable. Although it was a very beautiful anchorage and we loved it. And now Julius is lifting up our stern anchor. And then we'll be heading off to Fatu Hiva. Supposed to have beautiful easterly, possibly even northeasterly winds today, so We'll have to see, but um, we've had a great time here in Kiva Oa. The people were very friendly. It's always a challenge to lift a stern anchor, especially when she's set well, but Jules always seems to manage. Right. We're on our way to Fata Hiva. The winds are fair and it should be a good sail. We're just passing the island of Tahuata, which we will visit on the way back. Most cruisers sail first to Fatu Hiva after checking in with customs in Hiva Oa because the island lays to the south. So once you get there, all the rest of the islands will be downwind. Really? Captain Jules is feeling good. He loves to feel the wind in his face and to be heading to a new destination. He is not alone in those feelings. I feel the same. It's nice to see other sailboats after spending many days alone on the ocean. Catch. There in the distance looks to be a native craft. The trip to Fatu Hiva turned out to be quite a lively sail, and we were hoping to arrive before dark. We prefer to anchor while it's still light out when we're entering a new anchorage. The view of Fatu Hiva from the sea is quite beautiful. As we approached the anchorage which lay under steep cliffs, we were met with squalls and strong gusty winds, so we ended up motor sailing the rest of the way. I don't know if the lighting is good enough right now, but we're just walking, going around Fatu Hiva. It's unbelievable. It's about a mile and a half offshore. And the anchorage is just getting there. There's a bunch of squalls coming off the shore too. So it's been a while. Paradise. Big squall. <laughs> it was just when we were coming towards Anchorage, about a mile off the Anchorage. Okay, guys, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please don't forget to leave a comment and a thumb up. We love hearing from all of you. And before we leave, we'd like to thank all of you that support our channel on Patreon and PayPal. We really appreciate your support, guys, and we will see you all next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye.